Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about another variation of insecure data storage issue that is temporary files insecure data storage. So in the last issue we have saw that our application was storing user sensitive information in databases without encrypting it. But in this challenge we will see that our application might store user sensitive information in temporary files in Android. So this issue is same like the previous one that we have to add our username and we have to add our password and if we click on save then we have to find out that where our application is storing user sensitive information. Now let's see how this issue works in debug. Now let's have a look at insecure data storage part 3. So in the previous video we have discussed about insecure data storage part 2 in which we saw that our application was storing user information in a plain text in a database. Now we will see that what actually happens in insecure data storage part 3. So you can see here that here is our challenge that is insecure data storage part 3 and this challenge is same like a previous one. It's asking for the same username and the same password. So now let's write here demo and our password would be anything. So let me gonna write here demo three times and let me click on save. Now you can see here that our third party credentials are saved. Now we have to see that where this application is storing user data and whether it's storing a data in a plain text or as a cipher text. So you can see here that my Santaku VM operating system is up and running. So let me gonna sign in and now let's analyze the source code of this activity. So let's go inside my desktop and here is one directory called as diva and here is our jar file. So now let's analyze this jar file by using jdgui and you can see here a package name called as jakha.aseem.deva and here is one activity that is insecure data storage 3 activity. So let me open it up and let's read the source code of this activity. So you can see here that here is one function called as save credentials and in this variable it's actually storing our data that is username and password and if I scroll down you can see here a file object and create temp file which means it's actually creating a temporary file called as uinfo and it's a temporary file and it's storing our data in a temporary file. So now we will see that whether it's storing our data in a plain text or as a cipher text. So now let's go inside the adb shell and you can see here that right now I'm inside the shell of Motion. Now let's go inside data slash data and let's go inside that package that is jaka.aseem.deva and you can see here a file named as uinfo is created. Now let's analyze that what present inside this file and you can see here that in this activity our application is actually storing a username and a password in a plain text. So here is our username which I have entered demo and here is our password which I have entered that is demo three times. So this was all about insecure data storage part 3 and it was the another variation that how our application might store our data in a plain text. So in this video we have seen that what is insecure data storage and we saw that how insecure data storage part 3 of Diva works. So thanks for watching this video.